All right, here goes my shop cat video compilation, Hong Kong. Everyone, enjoy. Hey, it's Melicat. If you're into animals, budget travel, or even exploration, come into my channel. Action! As you probably know, shop cats are the cats that live inside people's shops. They're kind of like indoor outdoor cats. His name is Marshmallow. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and like and turn on that notification. Thank you. And in this shop cat video, you'll actually see that um, these cats are quite common in Hong Kong. And the best part is they're free to go wherever as they please. I don't think they actually stray that far from their shop. Believe it or not, they're actually pretty smart. Um, sometimes do, they do get ran over by cars by accident, but for the most part, no. In these cat videos, it took me about hmm, two years best job ever. They work for an aquarium at the Goldfish Street. This guy doesn't want to go outside anymore. This girl, she actually uh, gets a place when the shop is open. Otherwise, she sleeps outside. See, shop cats, as opposed to community cats, actually sleep inside the shop. Sometimes, if the shop is not big enough, uh, they'll end up elsewhere when they're closed, but you get the idea. Kind of like these guys. I think they kind of appreciate that lifestyle of being the neighborhood cats. As you can see, the cats here in Asia um, are actually slimmer compared to a lot of the ones that I see in North America. This guy's interested in my box that smells like my cats. This guy used to get bullied so bad, the bread shop adopted him. He never wants to be outside ever again. Support my channel. If you like my content and want to keep my channel alive, all the information's in the description. Thanks guys. This is one of the shop cats whose best friend 10 year old friend who got ran over uh, earlier last year and he's always out there waiting for him to come back. There's a separate video on that. Kind of sad. But as I said, it doesn't happen all the time. Uh, another outdoor cat. Uh, this guy hangs around the vegetable market. So obviously somebody around here keeps feeding her. So she's always around this area. And believe it or not, Hong Kong is actually one of those places that's known to not have rabies. I think we've eradicated rabies since quite a while ago. I'm talking about decades. So it's generally safe to pet street cats here. And believe it or not, actually, sometimes I go from like point A to point B and um, it's supposed to take me like five minutes. But because I ran into cats, so I just stopped to interact with them, which ended up taking like half an hour. And worse yet, if I'm on the phone, I'll just make the other guy hang up really fast because I have to pull out my camera and take a video. That becomes part of this video.
<laughs> Found ya. This guy, I was about to catch him. They said he was feeling sick and they feed him all the time. And it turned out he actually belongs to some shop. Yeah. Oh, elevator butt, elevator butt. See, a lot of these shop cats are actually not skittish at all. Contrary to what people always say about cats, that they're scary cats. Nah. I think it's just about exposure. It's kind of like people, right? When you're used to seeing, uh, you know, a lot of things, you're used to the stimulation, you know, you get used to it. So I think it's the same thing with cats. Because we keep them indoors all the time. We just, you know, didn't expose them enough. When I first came to Asia, I thought, hmm, why is there so many street cats? But then I'm like, no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's cats that actually, it's called Fong Yang. Fong Yang meaning you raise them, but you let them free roam. Not a bad concept, actually. Do you guys have um, like, you know, free roaming cats where you guys are, where the citizens feel that it's their duty to help feed them and to take care of them? Because I know in Istanbul, uh, they have that kind of culture, but is it like that where you guys live? Let me know. This guy's like super grumpy and pretty old, like 18. I know in North America, one of the problems for cats going outside is not only being attacked by raccoons or other predators, but uh, in drinking antifreeze, which actually tastes really good for cats, highly toxic and fatal. Um, in Hong Kong, you don't have to worry about them drinking antifreeze because we don't put antifreeze in cars as we don't have freezing winters here. So if anything, mm, one less thing to worry about. Uh, not to mention that Hong Kong is pretty met, uh, pretty much a metropolitan city, so you won't really see much predators except for uh, the other dogs that might attack them. That's it. I don't know about you guys, but um, I have a hard time resisting not to pet other animals when I see them, if I can, if I may. This is pretty cool. This guy's like cross-eyed. I've never seen a cross-eyed cat, uh, but the owner said his vision is perfectly fine. I don't know why, I, I, I just can't take him seriously when he looks at me like that. Oh, 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 oh. Buddy's encounter with another cat. Oh, buddy. Oh, this is an interesting story. Um, I thought this guy was a stray cat. He was following me and really hungry. But guess what? Just when I was about to take this guy home, um, it turned out it was some shop that accidentally locked their cat out when they were, I think, uh, closing for the long weekend. Thank God, um, I had this guy in a box. I was gonna bring him to the pet groomers to shower, to to flee, yada, yada, yada. And uh, the guy said, wait a minute, he looks kind of familiar. I was like, wait, what are you talking about? It's like, I think it belongs to one of the shops. It's like, no way. It's like, yeah, maybe you should bring him back and ask. So I did. 
and it turned out the owner didn't even realize that they locked the cat out. I almost stole somebody's cat. Which actually reminds me, um, do you guys also bring cat treats everywhere you go as well? Just to have them handy? Oh, Sir Carlos. Not being nice to other cats. Oh, actually not too bad, not too bad. This is Guolan. This is the fruit market in Hong Kong. Lots of cats in that area. They're like one of the smartest cats I've, uh, I've ever seen. And people actually go there for photography and of course they bring tributes. Tributes for the cats. And sometimes I think being skittish in a way is kind of good for these shop cats or community cats here in Hong Kong because not everybody are exactly nice. Another reason why I think they're so smart is they know that somebody feeds them here and they can hide behind these locked gates so people can't get to them. And there's a much lower chance that the people that are working in the fruit market will hurt them. So they found their home. Every time I go travel, I just kind of look around for the community cats to see how they're treated. It actually says a lot about that country or that city and the people. Oh, murder mittens. But if you ask me, I think the animals are generally quite taken care of here in Hong Kong for the most part. So maybe the next time when you guys go travel, uh, just pay a little bit of attention to the kind of street cats that people have and how uh, it's different or the same as the ones that you see in your home country. Wow, this guy knows how to strike a pose. one thing that I love about Hong Kong is there's just so many shop cats. Sometimes they have them in restaurants too. It reminds me a couple years back I think uh, there was a uh, few news in Hong Kong where people uh, were rough playing people's shop cats and they got scratched or bitten and they wanted to use that as an excuse to blackmail the shops for money. Ever since then, uh, I see some shops actually put up a sign that says a disclaimer, my cat attacks for sure, pet at your own risk. I thought that's kind of smart. Even this Dogu, he concurs. He said, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi there. Are you an Asian cat as well? Oh, this guy lives in the restaurant. He knows how to keep the customers happy. So does this guy. They actually sit around and just give people company when they're eating and people don't seem to mind them. It's funny how sometimes you see cats in restaurants here. Uh, people don't really make a big fuss, especially in the local eateries. It's pretty much, hey, if you don't like it, don't come in. Oh, hi.
Ah, oh, such a good temperament. Thanks for letting me pet your belly. Actually, I got this guy adopted. He's in one of my best friend's house right now. He's got a naturally uh, deformed leg, but going strong, doing well, well loved. Sometimes I think these outdoor community cats or these outdoor cats, they actually smell my nine cat smells on me. They're like, hey, why do you smell like a bunch of cats? Or, but you, yeah, but you're a human. But yet, wait, it's so confusing. You smell like a cat. Why, why, why? I have questions. I have questions. And you can tell this guy's really taken care of. He's from the fruit market as well. He's got a flea collar on him. And his fur actually feels very fresh. It's very clean. When I looked at his ears, I was like, oh wow, no ear mites either. That makes me really happy. Oh, this guy lives in a garage. Bit skittish. Hello. When I first came to Hong Kong, it really concerns me to see these cats walking to what looks like oncoming traffic. But no, they actually know what they're doing. But the only thing is I don't chase them or pressure them because that might uh, put them in a state of panic and that's when they actually get ran over by cars. Hey, fish market cat, I saw you in one of my live streams. Remember? Ah, so this is Katie and Fu Zai. Um, these guys almost got stolen from somebody. It was caught on CCTV. So they're one of those uh, that are raised by a local fruit market. And when they close, they have nowhere to go. So they have boxes for them. Some guy tried to stick him in a bag. And uh, actually when he resisted, he sl that guy slapped him, but he clawed his way out of that bag and he escaped. Whew. Last one, saw this at a local vet someone abandoned him pretending to bring him in uh, for a checkup but never came back shame on you humans anyway you guys don't forget adopt don't shop stay well love cats have a good life